Hello, hello, this is Aubrey Burst with Easy School Marketing. I'm excited you're here with me today. We're gonna to talk about, this is part of our back to school series. We're gonna talk about modeling and setting expectations and why that's important to your school and parent body. Okay, let me just tell you a story. So there is this great book that I was reading and the author told a story about when she was in drama school and she walked into the drama room and there was a girl in her class standing on a chair. And so she walked in with the other students and they were all looking at the girl and they're like, okay, this girl's standing on a chair. It must be part of the assignment that we're supposed to do. So everyone that came in the room stood on the chair, just like the girl. And then the teacher walks in and she looks, she just quietly looks around the room. And then she says, why are you all standing on chairs? <laughs> and so why am I telling you this story? It's all about expectations and modeling of behavior. And what I've seen in some independent schools lately is the assumption that parents understand expectations and the lack of modeling what that expectation is or unintentionally modeling it. So where I see this happen, I, I was talking to a school the other day and they said, wow, all our parents are really on top of it. They showed up to the summer play date and everyone was wearing masks in 90 degree weather. And I said, huh, that's interesting. And the, the compilation of the, the people attending this were mostly new parents. And I said, I'm wondering, because I've seen this happen in my own school and other schools I work with, I'm wondering that because there was a lack of expectation set that those parents got out of the car and looked around them and said, what is everyone else doing? <laughs> because the school in question did not send out guidelines ahead of time as to do you wear masks in 90 degree weather or when you're outside or is it masks only inside? So with the lack of information, what do people do? They look around, especially your new parents who don't yet feel comfortable being like, is there something that everyone else knows that we don't know? And that my friend is the key to starting the school year. It is to set those expectations of whatever, whether it's COVID protocols, whether it's how carpool runs, whether it's how we treat people, the frequency of communications, how parents are um, involved in school. Are they allowed on campus? Like setting those expectations and doing so through modeling too. The modeling is key because with the absence of expectations and with the absence of consistent communication about expectations, what happens is that there is talk amongst parents or staff too. This absolutely applies to staff and the expectations that you are setting for your staff this year. And that means across the board from marketing development, whatever you're expecting that staff needs to be communicated effectively because this cuts off the wondering of what's supposed to happen, the speculation, right? And then the unintentional modeling, right? If there is no clear expectation, then we look around and we say, what is everyone else doing? So I'm encouraging you as we're heading back to school and in the first month of school to really think about the expectations and the modeling of expectations. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear from you. What is on your mind? What challenges are you facing as we're heading back to school? Take care and I'm cheering you on.